Welcome to the Dower Diaries. I'm Jennifer and welcome back to our second episode in our Decorate for Christmas for 2023 series and I'm so excited because it is the tree that we're doing today. And I do like to decorate the Christmas tree as one of the first things only because really as far as Christmas decorations go the tree is the star of the show and I like to play off of the tree with the colors and the things that I'm using in all my other decorations. So I usually try to do the tree as one of the first things for uh, decorating for the season. I did purchase some new things for this tree this year. I bought some new beautiful velvet ribbon, some velvet balls from Amazon that I did showcase in our shopping video and if you haven't seen that please go check it out. We also did some DIYs. I aged some bells that I purchased from Hobby Lobby that I'll be putting in the tree. Uh, Corey also did stain some wooden balls and since I'm going to be doing metallics and the velvets I kind of felt like I needed to add something that's a little bit more rustic to kind of keep it toned down and not too much on the glam side. I wanted to kind of do a rustic elegance, I guess, for a lack of a better term. And I'm very excited to do this. We've already uh, fluffed the tree, and may I say, oh my goodness, this was our first experience with the flocked tree, and boy, that was messy. We had flocking from head to toe. Pretty sure it was even in my eyelashes. And we also added some twinkle lights towards the center of the tree because I think twinkle lights just add a little extra something special. I would love to know what you're doing on your Christmas tree this year, what kind of decorations you're going to be using, so please leave me a comment below. And now, let's get to decorating. The tree this year is a new purchase from Amazon and I will leave it linked below for any of you who are interested. I made sure to cut all the tags from the tree because they can even show once the tree is decorated. We've had this star topper for quite some time and I love it. This star will grace my tree no matter what decorations I use. This copper velvet ribbon was purchased from Amazon as well as the blue organza wired ribbon. I just fell in love with the color combination and blue has been my color of the year. It started with our back deck makeover this spring and it has just stuck with me throughout the seasons. So I felt it only fitting to end the year with this rich navy. To make my loops for my ribbon, I just fold them over, pinch it once I've gotten the right size of loop, and if you have a large tree, go bigger with your loops. I use floral wire to secure the loop and twist the back tail to keep the velvet side facing out. I also trim the tails of my ribbon using a fishtail, but you can also cut them on a diagonal as well and both look amazing. Wired ribbon is the easiest to manage. I've used ribbon in my trees for years because I don't have a knack for placing garland. It just never looks quite right and when I drape it, I never seem to have a branch to lay it across. Ribbon just works for me. If you have some tricks for using garland, please let me know in the comments below. I start by placing my first piece of ribbon at the top and work my way down the tree. I like placing the ribbon randomly instead of one long meandering swoop around the tree, but you can certainly place it however you like. I also change directions to keep it interesting. Next, I'm going to add that blue sheer organza ribbon to the tree. I feel like you should at least use two to three coordinating ribbons in your tree and use different textures and a mix of solids and patterns work really nicely as well. Be sure to vary the ribbon size so as to not make it look too uniform. When placing the coordinating ribbon on the tree, sometimes I connect it with the original ribbon and sometimes I just place it randomly.
Here's a look at the two ribbons on the tree. Now, I want to say that something about this tree will change, so please stay with me until the end to see where I ultimately take my decorations for this year. Next, I usually place my picks into the tree. This year I am using a mix of metallic blueberries, a long-leafed eucalyptus that is a blue-green in color, and some dark navy florals that give added dimension. I have finished putting the ribbon on the tree and I think I have it placed where I want it. I've also put the picks in um, kind of randomly, spreading them out with the amount that I had. And I wanted to also let you know that if this color selection is not to your liking, that's okay. You can always trade out you know, any one of these things for your color palette. If you are more of the subdued um, neutrals, then by all means go ahead and change out the ribbon to a neutral color and the um, the picks. If you are a traditional red and green kind of person, then again you could use plaid ribbons and obviously reds and greens and golds and that would make for a really lovely tree as well. This is the colors that I chose for my home this year. Now I wanted to share just a few um, of the ornaments and uh, specialty things that I'm going to be using on the tree this year. I did find these at Hobby Lobby and I thought that they were very very pretty and they have like a little bit of a pearl on them and then they're kind of aged. They're just a plastic ornament and they're a little bit aged and I thought those were really pretty so I picked those up. These are also plastic and I got them at Hobby Lobby as well and they are kind of brushed, almost look like they have feathers on them. They're very, very pretty. I don't know if you can, if it'll focus on it enough for you to see the texture. But uh, these are also plastic. And the really wonderful thing about plastic ornaments, and I have a few more down here. I have um, some old ones that I bought at the dollar store. You can pick these up um, at the dollar store. These are glitter. But the really wonderful thing about these is they're super inexpensive and you can put them really far back on the branches towards the um, main trunk of the tree and add that layering effect with all your ornaments and it won't break the bank if you go to the dollar store so that's just a little tip um, to achieve a very layered look you want to get these um, cheaper ornaments and, and put them back in the tree so you're not using up all your pretty ornaments from Walmart these beautiful there's a bunch of different ones but I'm just gonna go ahead and show you this one for right now but again it's in the navy and the golds and I just thought that was gonna look absolutely beautiful on the tree I've had these I don't even remember I think I might have gotten them at Hobby Lobby years ago they're again they're a they're a plastic um, ball and they have that onion shape I guess they're an onion shape and they have uh, a little bit of an aged quality to them so they're kind of a silver but they're they're burnished and I thought that that would look really really lovely with all the mixed metals that I'm going to be doing on the tree and then another set of ornaments that I wanted to share that I got off of Amazon and I originally bought them to be a bowl filler and once I got them and saw how absolutely beautiful they are I said oh no oh no 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 I need I need a couple more boxes of these 
So I'm just gonna show you because they, they're just, they're simply absolutely gorgeous. I hope you can see that in there. I love these beautiful snowflakes. I have had them since our very first Christmas together, Corey and I, and I bought them at a little specialty um, Christmas shop years and years and years ago, and they're just so pretty. They are a snowflake, and they, I have a bunch of different uh, shapes and sizes, and the one thing that I love about these is the glitter does not come off of these, and <laughs> I am so excited to use these. Okay, I'm a crazy bird person. I have birds everywhere in my home and I happened to be on, I don't even know, Facebook, Instagram, and at home came up on my feed with some assorted ornaments and things and these precious birds showed up on my feed. Look at this tail and they have like beading here. I don't know if that's showing up. They have beading on the head of the bird. And I thought that this was going to look absolutely amazing in this tree. So with all the colors I have, it just, it's tail hanging down. It, so I bought five of these. They were $4.99 a piece. And they have um, a little clip here on the bottom to clip into the tree. So I will be adding these into the tree as well. So I'm so very excited to get this all started. So let's finish the decorating. I really thought one of those beautiful birds needed to be part of the top and I think it looks amazing perched up there. Next, I place all those inexpensive ball ornaments toward the center of the tree. Sometimes I don't even use hangers, but merely place them on a branch in those holes that I can never seem to find branches to fill. By putting ornaments deep into the tree, it creates dimension and gives fullness to the decorations. I then start with all my larger ornaments since they take up the most real estate on the tree. After that, I just put the remaining ornaments on, alternating them by color or finish. I think it's important to have varying kinds of ornaments to give more interest to your tree. If you only use one kind or one size, it can get very uniform looking. And also, you don't just have to hang small ornaments on top and large on the bottom. Mix it up and I promise it will make your tree look amazing. There is something about the color navy that is just so versatile. It can be elegant or it can be casual. It really is such a perfect color and it can complement almost any other color with ease. All in all, choose the colors that make you happy and the ornaments that mean something to you because that is what tree decorating is all about.
So I'm gonna have to be honest, as much as I love this beautiful copper ribbon, I'm actually going to change it out. Yes, and I'm going to tell you why I think that I need to change out this ribbon. And maybe some of you have already noticed it and you've been screaming at me probably the whole entire video. Now, in this ribbon's defense, I will say, it is absolutely divine on its own. But in this flocked tree, it is, it's basically sitting there going, it's all about me and everything else I have on the tree that's beautiful and it, it's just getting lost. It, to me, this ribbon is just stealing the limelight from everything else and I, I've been trying to give it a go. When I first put it on, I'm gonna be honest, I stepped back and I kind of already knew that it wasn't gonna work for me, but I wanted to trust in the process and I thought once I got everything else on that it would just it would work and for me it's just not working I, I walked down the stairs and turned the corner after giving it a moment and I just the ribbon just slapped me across the face because that's all I could see on the tree and I just I don't want to lose everything else that's beautiful about this tree so as much as it's killing me to lose this ribbon because like I said, I absolutely adore, it's just, it's just beautiful. But I just feel like it's, it's just not for me. And I, and that's okay, I, it's a process. And sometimes it's about trial and error. And I feel like I've learned something about myself that I am somebody who prefers more subdued, um, you know, I, I like pops of color. Don't get me wrong, but I think it's just it's just a little bit a little bit too much for me. And so I'm going to see what I have on hand and see if I can incorporate that to uh, make it more of the look that I was actually going for and um, without spending any more money. But I'm sad because I do not have any more ribbon of this size. And so, but we will see. We'll see how it turns out. And again, you know, it happens with anything you decorate, really. Um, you know, if you're designing a, a space in your house, it's sometimes you put something in it and you think you're going to love it and then you realize, yeah, you know, it's just not working. So, and honestly, I don't, if I had left this on the tree, which I could, I mean, it is, it is beautiful, but I feel like the tree is such a moment for me um, for Christmas. I love to turn off all the other lights at night and just have the tree lights on and I'll sit with my hot cup of cocoa and just feel at peace and just reflect. And for me, there'd be a point through the next couple of months that I would grow to really dislike the tree and I don't want it, I don't want it to be that way. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and change it up. So let's get to removing this ribbon and putting on something new and I'll be back with you.
that's a wrap finally on my Christmas tree decorating video. I cannot believe this one really made me think. And I'm glad that I did this, that I kind of went outside my comfort zone because it was a challenge and I liked it to be challenged. And I'm very happy with the way it ultimately turned out. I think the navy, it became the dominant color on the tree instead of an accent color. And I'm okay with that because now the metallics are, have become the accent. And I just, I, I think it turned out really well. I love my bells and my little brown um, wooden balls. They turned out so sweet and so nice. And they're just kind of, um, just a little nod to something a little bit more organic in the tree. But overall, I think it turned out really lovely. But let me know down in the comments if maybe you favored the copper ribbon or if you're favoring the navy ribbon, I would love to know. Or maybe you even have a thought on a different kind of ribbon that I could have used entirely. We're really looking forward to the holidays and I'm really looking forward to sitting here and enjoying my tree. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please hit that like button and share it with someone that you know that would like this type of video. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to our channel and becoming a part of our YouTube family. Again, we are so blessed, so fortunate to have all of you here with us. Thank you. And I will see you all very, very soon for another Decorate With Us video, which will be my living room. We're gonna go ahead and tackle that and uh, get it ready for the holidays. So we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.